Okay, so it's June 2024 and it seems that there are problems when trying to set up a computer or a laptop running Windows 11 under a local account. Unfortunately, the old methods such as typing in the email address at no at thank you dot com with any password or running the out of box experience that doesn't seem to work. If you try disconnecting from the internet during the setup, unfortunately, Microsoft have blocked that workaround too. But we've got a few more workarounds for you today to show you how you can set up a computer or a laptop out of the box with a local account, avoiding the need to set up or use a Microsoft account. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, at the current time, unfortunately, Microsoft seem to have blocked most of the ways that we know and love on how to set up Windows 11 under a local account. Thankfully, though, there are a couple of workarounds. Now, I'm not sure how long these workarounds are going to work for. As of June 2024, precisely the 5th of June 2024, I am going to demonstrate they are still working. By all means, try the good old fashioned methods. I did find a little while ago the, uh, the opening the command prompt by holding down the shift key and then tapping F10, then let go of the shift key to get the command box up on the screen and then try typing OOBE backslash by pass NRO. Then let the computer restart, turn your modem or your router off so that there's no way that the laptop can connect to the internet. And hopefully then you'll have an option to say or click on, I don't have internet and then be able to set up a local account. Some users have said this still works. I found it still works. Some users have said it hasn't. So if you're one of the users that said it doesn't work, then what you're gonna need to do is if you're at this screen here, if you've gone any further than the select your language screen, then what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to power off the computer. Now to do that, hold down the power button. That's the button you press to turn the laptop or the computer on. Hold it down for at least 10 seconds or until the screen goes black. Keep it held down. Once the screen has gone black, then push the power button again once and then let the computer start up. Once it gets to this screen here, then hold down the shift key. That is the key that's on the left hand side of the keyboard, either got the word shift on it or an arrow pointing upwards. So hold that down and then tap the F10 key. That is along the top row of keys on the keyboard. Now, once you see this command window appear, you can let go of the shift key. So like I say, there's two ways we can do this. We can either add a username or we can enable the administrator user. So I'm going to show you the way of uh, enabling the administrator user. And once we've enabled the administrator user, it will restart the computer and then it will log us in as administrator. Then we can create our own username. Now, this is advisable because leaving the administrator user open does pose a potential security risk. If you're not happy about doing it this way, then stick around. I'm going to show you the other way in a moment. Moment. So we need to type net space user space and then administrator with a capital A and make sure you spell that correctly. Space forward slash active colon yes. So as it's shown on the screen, pause this video if you need to. I shall try and put this command though in the description of this video below. Once you've typed that command and you've triple checked it, then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed it correctly, you should see the command completed successfully. The next thing you need to type is OOBE backslash M S O O B E. Then a space and you want two ampersand signs, space, shut down, 
space minus r just as it's shown on the screen again pause this video if you need to i will try and put this in the description once you've triple checked this press enter or return on your keyboard and the computer should now restart please do not try to interrupt the restart it may hang for a bit on this just a moment please don't worry okay so you're going to get the username or password is incorrect come up once it comes up click on okay and here we go it's now logging us in as administrator just be patient this screen might hang for a little while and we're getting the welcome message and it's just saying it's getting things ready for us okay so we've got to this screen just here so it's asking us about our preferences so i'm just going to say no to all of these so let's just click on no and accept and uh, this one here i'm going to click on required only and accept no and accept no and accept again and no again so we've now logged in but we're logged in as administrator and this really isn't safe to keep using this so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to set up a username in my own name so click on the start button and just type on the keyboard run and then up there you should see run system left click once on that and then a run box should appear and you want to type in there net pl whiz so that's n-e-t-p-l-w-i-z pause this video if you need to copy it down click on ok and then you should get this box here and we want to add a new user so left click once on add and it says here how will this person sign in well we want to sign in without a microsoft account so click on the bottom there underneath privacy statement sign in without a microsoft account not recommended so click that click on local account and then we want to type our username so i'm just going to type my name in there now it's up to you whether you set a password or not if you do set a password you'll need to give a hint to that password in the bottom box there but i'm just going to set it without a password click on next once you've filled out the boxes you want to fill out on this page and there we go we've got our local account there so click finish and the next thing we want to do is we want to make the user that we've just set up an administrator okay it's got to be an administrator so double click on the username you've just set up and then click group membership and then click the little circle to the left of administrator then click apply then click OK and then click on OK again and then what we want to do is we want to log out and log into this user we've just set up so click on the start button click on the little head there just to the left of administrator and then click sign out let the computer sign out and then once we're back to this screen click anywhere on the screen and then click the username that you've just set up and then click sign in so we're just going to go through the setup again just like we did a minute ago under administrator so now i've got to this screen here so i'm just going to select no to all of these but it's up to you what you want to select i just our habit now i just select no because i don't really want microsoft prying on what i'm doing so i'm just clicking no and accept on everything or the uh, the bottom answer and accept and uh, now it's just going through the final setup stages okay so we've logged in now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove or disable the administrative user so click on the start button if the start screen isn't up and then just type on your keyboard c for charlie m for mother d for delta and then hopefully after a few seconds under best match you should see command prompt once you see that click on the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse not the left once you've clicked on that you should see run as administrator appear click on the left mouse button over run as administrator the screen may darken and you may see this if you do click yes and then this little black box that you saw earlier should appear on the screen i'm just going to get rid of the start menu and uh, when you do see this then what we need to do is we need to wait for the c prompt to appear so we just wait for this to appear and then we need to type net space user space administrator with a capital a space forward slash active colon no 
So once you've typed that, double check it, triple check it, make sure you've got exactly what I've got on the screen, then press enter or return. And again, if you've typed the correct command in, you should see the command completed successfully. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this off by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click on the start button again and I'm going to type the word run again. And then I'm going to left click run just up there under best match. And I'm going to type in the run box net p l w i z then press the ok button and then we should get this up here now if you see like i've got i've got a default user default user zero in mine I don't really need it. Sometimes this comes up. Some It's a bit of a bug in some versions of Windows 10 and 11. So if you do see that, then best thing to do is just to click on default user zero once and then click on remove and then click on yes. And that should then remove that user. There we go. It's gone. Click on OK. That has now disabled the administrative user it's also taken out the default user you might not have default user some people get it some people don't but we've set up a local account now i did say i'm going to show you another way to do this which i will do right now you have to be at this screen which says is this the right country or region if you've gone further on then what you're going to have to do is same as before hold down the power button on the pc or laptop until it goes off then push the power button again and wait until you get back to this screen here once you're at this screen here then hold down the shift key and then tap f10 and then once you've done that hopefully you should see a black screen let go of the shift key and then you want to type in this command here now this command here is going to add you as a user so what you need to do is you need to type net space user space and then the name of the user so in my case here i'm going to type chris and then a space and then forward slash add so just as it's shown on the screen but where i've put chris put in your own name as a username or the username that you want to add then press enter or return on your keyboard now if you've typed the command in correctly then you should see the command completed successfully the next thing you want to do is we want to add this user as an administrator now this is very important so type net space local group or one word and then a space and then you want to type administrators with a capital a and then a space and then again type in the username the username that you put after net space user up above make sure that you type it in the correct case so i put a capital c in chris so i've got to put a capital c in here as well whatever you put after net user put in after administrators here and then forward slash add and then press enter or return on your keyboard and again if you've typed the command in correctly then you should see the command completed successfully so the next thing you want to do is type in o o b e backslash m s o o b e space ampersand ampersand space shutdown space minus r and then press enter or return on your keyboard and if you've typed in the correct command then hopefully the computer should now reboot now this just a moment it might hang on this for a while but don't panic it's doing something i'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it in a few minutes so my computer is now restarting and we get this the username or password is incorrect that's fine just click on ok now it's going to log you in as the user with the username that you selected and it's going to log you in as a local user it might hang on this screen for a little while but don't panic and you get this screen here the high getting things ready for you so once again just be patient for a little while and as it says on the screen this might take a few minutes don't turn off your pc okay so you'll finally get to this screen and this is up to you but i always select the bottom answer and then click accept this gives microsoft less permissions and sends a minimal amount of data to microsoft so uh, thus keeping your pc a bit more 
private. Okay, so here we go. It's now booting up for the first time. And yep, we've actually now logged in with a local account from scratch, not had to connect to or set up a Microsoft account. Let's just have a look. I'm going to go into settings and let's just have a look just to make sure that we've got a local account and not a Microsoft account. Now, it's not asked me for any Microsoft passwords. Let's just go into accounts there. And yep, there you go. As we can see there, Chris, local account, and I'm also an administrator. If we want to set a password for this account, then we can do, we can go down a bit further on this page here and go to sign in options and then go down to password just there and add a password if we want to, of course. But one of the beauties of not having a Microsoft account attached to Windows 11 is that you don't need to have a password if you don't want to. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down below in the description. We've got loads of great links down there for you. If you're in the market for a VPN, Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick, etc or just want to have a look through my Amazon shop. We've got loads of great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel, which in turn helps me to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that may you think may help your friends, your family or your work colleagues, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.